the cave in the southern part of Malta. It could be entered a couple of years. Yeah, I mean, a couple of years. It's almost 17, 18 years ago. Uh -huh. It was it was open for the public, and so you could go in, even in the small tunnels. So my wife and me, we went in, about 50, 60 meters. Then we got worried, and we get we went back, because it's very dark and so. On. But that what I have explored in this underworld, even in the hypogeum or other caves, you would never find remains of open fire. Never, ever. Not even in this catacomb in Rabat, down there at the second and the third level, was nothing. So how could they see? How can they see? The people from Shambhala, the underworld, how can they see? No idea. But I think when they have the changed way of energy, or the changed way of technology, because our technology works with explosion, and they work with implosion. And I think they make it like this, and the, the particles which were in the, in the air, they start to shine. They change the polarity, and so this will be light. But don't you think also, have you not heard like that when all your chakras are activated, there's like a light that emanates out of the body? Mm. Isn't it a sign yeah. of like they, spiritual they, 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 they can do it. Like I told you just now, they do it like this. So they and they, like very and they change the particles in the air. From plus, no, from, yeah, from minus to plus, and plus is photon, they start light. So it's a sign that they control matter. Yes, they can control like matter, matter, correct. Right. Because everything is full of matter. Yeah. We do not realize. Sometimes we feel like, then we, we can feel the small particles running through our body, but they can control the matter if they want that the electrons went into or go into photons, then the light or the room is full of light, full of, because normally a room is always full of energy, but we cannot control this. And uh, what do you think they, they do uh, to, to get to a level where they, they actually have that level of self-control, self-discipline uh, and ability over matter? Yeah, they can. Yeah, but what, but they don't do it. What's their what's their process? What kind of work do they do on themselves to, to manage to pull this off? I didn't understand. Can what, you... what what work do they do? How do they how have they managed to evolve themselves to this point? I think I cannot I cannot answer this correctly, but I think this came in the in the way of evolution of this of, 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 of this population because this goes further down men came in existence for about 250,000 years but they live for about a couple million billion years and so this is a regular evolution mankind will be there in a couple million years as well probably to do the things this is part of an evolution. Is there no way to fast forward it? Yeah. If so, because we have okay. evolved. That's what the point. Well, you you mentioned earlier on that uh, Ashwara, Ashwatara, Ashwaratara, or yeah. right, that uh, she holds the key to our DNA. Uh, or to, to our all DNA, right? Yes. And our DNA has devolved, right? Yeah. Which is the same point that Michael Cremo uh, tried to make. That okay. We kind of like devolved yes. into matter. This is we, our, our body or our cells is went down. We are degenerated from a top level to a very low level. So when she came back, with the origin blood, with all. I do not know how many people they will be gifted to get the blood transfer that our cells change 
into a higher level of frequency. I do not, I have no idea how this works, but sometimes it works, but the energy I have is not strong enough, still not. No? I so I have much higher energy than regular people, or even higher than people who go with me to seminars. But my energy or my 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 power field of the of the physical body is still not high enough to give her the hand. Hmm. Please, I but I have experienced do, this. Do one you not feel driven to kind of like push the envelope because you know how you got the energy, right? Yes, you know. So so why don't you go back and meditate like three or four in the morning in that same spot? <laughs> No idea. Yes, I have no idea, really. So I would like, but as I told you, to the meditation in the morning of the 26th of December, that a light ball went into my body. And this is what I got a race of a couple million Bovis units. Yeah. But this couple million, about 12, 12 million on strength, is not, it not strong enough to give her the hand. Still not. I will be burned. Because she is in the, in the radiation so high that it looks she is she is a moving a, a, a moving microwave oven in full well, speed. It's very interesting what you're talking about because mm -hmm. it reminds me of uh, someone who described receiving prasad from a um, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. Um, uh, Babaji, Babaji, Mahavata Babaji. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, Prasad is like when they throw you fruit. But he said when you received the fruit, it was like, it was so energized. Yeah. It was like filled with. Mm -hmm. and, and so, if you do like yoga, if you do like, uh, in particular, Sri Aurobindo's yoga, you can get that download of energy, but I'm very interested in like any shortcuts and like it seems like here is like designed for shortcuts because yeah. the energy is higher, but if you just know the right spots. Some some people are able to do this. I think it's only a couple handful. Yeah, but the world. Ma 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 Babaji is two thousand years old, man. So yeah, but the, I I know from at least two. Right. No? But one has been passed away now. And one is still alive, with about 90 years old. But they both has the ability to do this, but not constantly to, through the year. And the 90, how they did are, they learn it? How did they learn it? They, wait. So they can do it only every, every three months or whatever. Right. For a couple hours. They are, have the ability to do things like this. And all, all the three has told that they were taken when they were a small child. Oh, so they were and when they team. came back, they had the ability. Okay, so the aliens basically changed their DNA. Yes, and so it could be possible when you will when you are taken in outer space. Yeah. And when you come back, or outer space like they have, here, and when you come back, that you have the ability to take this high radiation and to use it. Right. And so this is my desire. When you remember of, of Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi could do this with his fingers and with his mind right. to control other person's brain. Right. So I would do the same thing, but I'm not in the right level to be, to be ready to, to do this. Because I'm still thinking in a human way. A big difference. So can I translate it this? Mm -hmm. no? It's called in, in Deutsch the Pfeil of Bewusstlosigkeit in India. The error of something that you make put the people to sleep. The, no? the Russians, Yuri told me that the Russians did experiments with frequencies and they put an entire city to, yeah. to sleep with frequencies. Yeah, yeah. So the, and this was the reason that they do still the same thing. Nowadays, this was the reason the so-called terrorists with the flying soldier killed the flying soldier from Saturn, which came down 
on Roswell. But they used only this weapon. That was the reason they came down almost not, not destroyed or whatever you can call them. We can say this. So they were, they were out of service but not killed. This is the reason the Americans could take them. Right, so they just so, put them to sleep. Yes, they, they put, put them they to put sleep. them to sleep, and so the air fl the flying saucer came down, but they did not. It was not. They did not. They wow. so, so. This and so they did the same thing in this end war before the, the final downfall of Atlantis. Uh -huh. So in she, because Azuara, he did not do anything against them, and then she, because she is also the goddess of love and war. And when she changed to the goddess of war, oof, I wouldn't be next to her. <laughs> so he asked for assistance two times, on this stone tablet and on this, no? that they use this terrible weapon from outer space to eliminate all their force, all the this army of this people. And this story was told to Herodot in Egypt and he said because Herodot came from Athena and they were stopped at Athena, not in Troy, Athena. Troy was before and this is the story of when the Greek went to Troya. Troy? The ten years fight. This was not in the place what we, what Schliemann, Schliemann found it. This is further in the north because <coughs> English Troy is <coughs> Troya is much better. And then when you go further back into the Sanskrit or Proto Sanskrit means Traya, and Traya means the ninth the ninth city. And as I told you, at the Olymp is Athena. And Athen or the Ashtar means the eighth. So Athen is still in the old name, Athena, the eighth city. So below of the Olymp mountain, there was a city called Ashtar. And Ashtar was the final place where these armies came together and she what is this called? She was the victim. No, she was not the victim. She was the victory. She was the victor. Yeah. The victor. So, and then it came after this. It came to an prisoner exchange, whatever, in Malta. And in my opinion, it was either in Imnaitra or in Taali, Taadi. And this was the this was the day when Asuara lost his body. They were, he was killed, or they took him, the body, but not only him, or, or their own member. So they, make no dis they made no difference between their own people and Asuara. So they were together on the forecourt, and then they came uh, not a spacecraft from, from outer space, it was a flying saucer from Earth, and with a laser beam they killed all. And this was mentioned, or that is mentioned in a stela, but we cannot enter this anymore, it's still there. And on the stela this is written in Proto-Sanskrit, and when you, when, you, when you focus your attention on a special daylight, then you can see on one, on one side an extraterrestrial and on the other side you can see the face of Aswara. But now this is closed, nobody can enter this, this place anymore. Where is it exactly? It's in Hashaim somewhere. Hmm. And I have a photograph, probably you will find it in Aloysius book <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> no? And there is written. So, the real murder of God is not the crucifixion or whatever we get told around the world it is you mean the murder of Jesus. done by 
a radiation by a laser beam. So this was totally uh, burnt immediately. And, and I asked you earlier on, what do you think of these shafts in Duera? Do you think they were cut by laser beam or? Do you think the, yeah, sure. nobody knows. But I think it is something like this, because a laser beam is a bounded electromagnetic wave system, uh -huh. and with high, uh, high, high degrees power, yeah. about probably 10,000 degree, whatever, and so then all the cut rods are made in the same way. Do you, do you think that the Inland Sea, because there's something very strange about the Inland Sea, the Inland Sea is like very round, Yes. but then there's also opposite the Inland Sea, there's a mountain top that's completely round. It was so covered before. So when you said this is a sinkhole, I agree with you. But, but, uh, but no, 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 because this is what I noticed, right? There's the Inland Sea that's completely round, right? Yes, yes. And there's nothing like it in the world. But there's also a mountain top. Yes, it's around again. Round. Yes. But then behind Duera, in the third valley, the main valley, yeah. right, there's a wall that is roundish, like this. Yes. So I'm um, wondering, did they not cut the entire thing? <laughs> no idea. But when you, when you have been in a small passageway in Malta, and this runs through the whole island, in how many stories down? So I was down three stories only, but it was not the end. Where? In Rabat, in a catacomb which was open in the year 2000 and 2001. Then it was locked by Heritage Malta. So we could go, because this was used as a shelter in the World War II, and then it was left like, the, the top level was like a garbage place. No? Everybody throw the, the garbage inside, and I think this was when Heritage Malta locked it, and so nobody can go. And one or two times a year they may go open air, but they show only like in the Hypogeum, only a special level. Uh -huh. And the rest is covered now, so they cannot go down anymore. So this goes down, I would say, when the, the, when the sea level is about 200 meters. So this goes down story by story, 200 or more meters down. And so you need to think, they did not go down, but they came up inside. And on the, on the top level, level, this was a shelter for the people who were living outside, the regular human. Because the Atlanteans did live like the people from Shambhala in the underground. And they were organized like insect, like a bee. Like, and she is the queen bee. Do you know anyone who's gone to like explore these tunnels who's actually found anything interesting? What, what, what are they? Do you know anyone who's gone to explore these tunnels and who's found anything interesting? <laughs> it's, you need to have a very good equipped crew and a crew must standing outside with a very, 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 very long rope that you will not get lost. You can go enter. I saw, I, I went about 50 or 60 meters, but then I went back. This was in the...